Oh, I had a dream I was working on an old junky tractor. Ah, I've been spending too much time in the shop. What's it doing out there? Oh, snow. Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to the Great White North. Uh. I guess I got work to do. My cattle sure did age while I was sleeping in the shop. They got gray hairs now. You guys are supposed to be black. And you, you're supposed to be red. Ain't that the icing on the cake? Mr. Huxtable. <laughs> you're in luck, ladies, because I heard that snow makes hay taste sweeter. Good day for you guys. Well, look at you, you're carrying the badge of shame today. How'd that happen? What are you guys doing? I think you might want to run a little bit. You think you want to run? Look at you guys. I remember when, oh, there we go. Run, run, run. Pigs need their morning exercise. We must have gotten at least six feet of snow last night. That's what the TV weathermen said we were gonna get. Well, I think more like six inches. I thought the kids were supposed to reorganize this place. I know there's some place over here. There's a crank for an F-20. The best time to put on tractor chains is in October. The second best time to put on tractor chains is now. Trust me, you don't want to go out there, huh? <laughs> you don't want to go out there, do you? It's a good thing we like shoveling because we live on a farm. <laughs> we shovel a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah, we do. Most of it isn't white though, is it? No, most of it's brown. <laughs> it smells bad. Howdy ladies. Some of you may be wondering why I don't use a 656 to plow snow, and the reason is because I don't 
have a plow for the 656 and you use what you have. A plow for the 656 would cost money, maybe in the future. And I found that the bucket loader doesn't really work very well on the 656 for plowing snow. Trust me, I've tried. Plus this little tractor is fun to drive. It's like skeeting around on a go-kart. What are you doing out here, little one? You're a free range calf, aren't you, Marty? That's how calves get the best hay in the winter time. They come out through the feeder panels and then they eat on the other side of the pile. No competition. Meanwhile, mom here is looking awfully wary because she knows her kid is outside the pen. Marty, you like red tractors too, don't you? He's checking out the Super A. Nice tractor. Ah, oh, it's still snowing out. What are you guys doing? Always amazes me that cows will stand out in the snow and it doesn't bother them in the least. You know, the weather isn't that bad here. Yes, it snows and yes, it gets cold. We get on average probably 100 inches of snow a year. Could be 150. I plow this driveway three, four times a year. Some years only once, but we don't get hurricanes. We don't get tornadoes. We don't get earthquakes. We have lots of fresh water. We don't have problems with drought except for last summer. It's overall a pretty good climate to live in. Hi lady, you staying warm? Chickens! Cats go in and out. Now the desert, there's some place I couldn't imagine living. I'm used to it either being green or white, depending on the season. Brown, that would be very strange for me. Gotta drain the hose, start at one end, hold it up. Watch the other end for the water to come out so it slows down a lot, and then let it down and keep going. So all the water is out of the hose so it won't freeze. Ready for tomorrow morning. Afternoon chores. Hillary and I run around and feed and water everybody. Pig's water is good. I have to fill this about every other day now. 55 gallons. And the feeder I have to do every other day now too. I think this feeder holds about 300 pounds of feed. 13 pigs are going through it pretty fast. These guys are getting big. I checked and they're going to the butcher in three and a half months, so they got a ways to go yet, but they're definitely growing and they're definitely eating a lot. Right guys? You're eating like pigs. Here's another escapee. Come on buddy. Back here we go. Come on. Come on.
See you in the morning, monkeys. Man, I just filled this yesterday. These heifers are drinking some water these days. Well, I guess I'm not going to sit down in that chair and talk to y'all. I'll just stand here. I know I've been putting up a lot of tractor restoration videos lately, and that interests some of you, and some of you it doesn't interest, and I can understand that. But it's kind of my life these days. I mean, on a day like this, I have to get out and plow and do lots of stuff to clean up the snow. But on a normal day, Hillary and I are just doing chores in the morning or the afternoon, cleaning out pens as needed. It's really a pretty steady daily routine, and I spend most of my days in the shop, which is typical for me most winters. I'm involved in some project, either in the shop or in the house, and this year it happens to be the MD. I'm sorry that every video isn't a running around the farm video, but my channel reflects what my life is like, and this is what it's like this winter. Hey guys, I'm just coming out to see how you're doing. You guys are just like cakes. We've got frosted cows today. What do you guys want? The worst part about working in the snow usually isn't the cold, but it's the wet when the snow is deep, because invariably you get wet, and I'm pretty wet, so I'm going in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day. I hope you love the white stuff just as much as I do. I'll see you next time. <sighs> What? It snowed another foot last night. Groundhog Day just happened. I think I'm stuck in a time loop. Oh, man.
I better go get out the plow tractor.